go over a few tips on stripping wire and also connecting wire. And one of the first tips, if you have solid wire and stranded wire, stranded wire always has a little bit larger outside diameter. So depending on what gauge you're using, for instance this is 14 gauge, we would use the 14 notch to strip this, but if we were cutting the stranded wire I would actually go up a notch to the 12 gauge and strip it so we don't cut into the wire. Now if you're stripping wire to connect to either an outlet or a switch, you would want to strip about three quarters of an inch of the insulation away. And this gives you plenty of room to create a nice little hook and also not so much that it's going to extend past the outlet or switch. So you can either use the little looping stations, these little holes on the side to put a loop in it, or you can just grab it with the end of the stripper and put a hook like that. And now when you have your hook, you'd want to wrap this in a clockwise direction around the screw terminal. And what that's going to do is it's going to tighten down as you tighten the screw. If you were to put this on in a counterclockwise direction, it could actually push it off. Now if you're connecting two wires or three wires together underneath a wire connector, you would only want to strip about a half an inch to five-eighths of an inch so that this exposed wire stays underneath the wire connector and when you're connecting your wires put your wires together take a pair of linesman pliers and give it a couple twists and this is going to make it just a, a very nice solid connection when you twist on a, a wire connector and then the same thing if you're using a push-on connector I would only strip about a half an inch to five-eighths of an inch so that there's no exposed wire. So just a couple tips if you're working with electrical wire.